the most common request I've gotten since I uploaded the update to the Audio Reactive Lights tutorial back in June was, can we make this work just from the Pi itself without needing a microphone? So I have a version of that working. I'm still working through some uh, kinks here and there, but I'll go over the software in a second. So of course you'll need some lights. I have the LED strip here wrapped around on this little Christmas tree. I thought it would be a little festive since it is the holiday season. Uh, I have another set here, uh, which you've probably seen before, uh, which I may or may not uh, chain on. Uh, you'll also need a Pi, so this is a Raspberry Pi 4. This will work on Pi 2, 3, or 4. Uh, if you try to work on a Pi 0, it won't work. Uh, there's not enough power uh, that the Pi 0 can provide, and it, and it starts stalling. So I would recommend uh, 2, 3, or 4. I have not tested this on a 1. You'll also need some kind of a speaker system. So I have a USB speaker here. It'll work on USB and I also have a Bluetooth sound core um, speaker here as well which works which which I'll actually be using instead of the USB one. I just have that as a spare. And of course you'll need a power source. So I'm using the official um, Raspberry Pi 4 3 amp plug. I'll be powering the lights directly from my Pi instead of using um, uh, an external power source because this is for demo and for the amount of lights I have this is just a uh, like a uh, uh, one, one meter long LED strip uh, with 144 lights is more than enough. Uh, I don't need more power. But if you want to use external power, if you have more lights, the connection, how it will work is that you'll have the power cord going from the power source into the power pin of your LED strip. The data pin will go from your, from your Pi to your data pin on your lights. And the ground pin from your uh, plug will go from the power source to your Pi and the light so that you'll have a common ground there. Um, if you have questions, do, do ask and I'll be happy to go through. So anyway, let's go through the software installation and I'll show you what you'll need to do. So let's go over the software setup for this. Uh, before I go to the software, I just want to take you to uh, this uh, fritzing diagram here which shows you the uh, connections here. So I'll have this on the, the newest page up as well. So you know, your ground goes to ground. The digital goes to GPIO 18 and 5 volt goes to 5 volt. So I'm powering this directly from my Pi. Uh, again, this is a picture of a Pi 3, but you shouldn't use a Pi 3. Uh, Pi 0, you shouldn't use a Pi 0. So going back to the software, so this is in a repository, in the same repository, but it's in a new branch called NoMic. I plan on merging this into master at some point later on once I've worked out some of the quirks, which I will go over in a minute. The main changes here is in the install directory here. So we have this new file called SCA sound configuration. In the past, uh, it used to copy this file over, which is just eight lines, which changes your default card type to one. And the new A sound configuration is a little over 200 lines done by Jason Gray. So check him out. He's, he, he does some really good work with, with all of this. So, so thanks Jason for setting this up for me. I tested this and it works really well. The last thing I want to mention is that in the past, almost everything I've done has been in the CLI. You can do a lot of this in the CLI, but for some reason I haven't been able to figure out why the lights don't work if you're in CLI. So you have to do it from the GUI. So when you're installing the Pi, I would normally tell you to, you know, go to Raspberry Pi OS and download the light because if you look at the size, it's 0.4 gigs versus, uh, I think it's like two point something gigs. Um, but this time you need the full full version. It comes with a lot of software that you need, uh, including uh, the VNC server, which is installed, which I'm going to use instead of uh, uh, instead of the light version. So I already have this installed. I have the Pi installed, and I have VNC server set up. So if you need help on how to set up VNC, uh, let me know. I don't have a video on this, but there's a lot of uh, helpful guides uh, on the interwebs. Uh, to help you through the process. So I'm VNC'd into my Pi uh, on this address. The first thing I would recommend that you run is sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade uh, because there are a lot of things that aren't, uh, that don't come with installation. You just have to update them. And since I will be using a Bluetooth headset, uh, sorry, Bluetooth speaker, I will set up Bluetooth. Uh, let's see, at device, let me turn my Bluetooth speaker on. You can also do this from the command line. Uh, but I'm choosing to do this from the GUI just because it's a little bit easier. There. Come on, sound core. There we go. So this is my device.
There you go. It's 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 been done and it connected. I don't know if you heard that beep. Okay, we wanted to make the text a little bit bigger, so let's clone our repository. So we'll do copy that. Do get so go to Dancy Pie. Uh, what we want to do is we want to do sudo get checkout no mic because that is the uh, branch we are working on. We also have the master branch. So if we go to sudo python install, we'll have all of our files here. Great. Um, and then let's do sudo python3 install.py. Um, so if you have the light version of the Pi and you're doing this from CLI, it might take a little bit longer because some things like pip isn't installed, but with uh, the full version of the Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi OS, it should go much faster. So I'm just doing through all of these. A lot of these already came installed, but you know, just in case, uh, there are dependencies here that are needed. Uh, and I think NumPy, SciPy already installed earlier. So anyways, so installation completed. It says please reboot. Great. I uh, just want to check a couple of things. So if I do CAD, etc. Uh, modules. Uh, let me see, it wasn't, so SND loop was added here. So if do A play L. So A play L lists the playback devices. So right now we have the HDMI and the headphone jack. So one thing I didn't mention with the hardware is that if you want to use the headphone jack, the 3.5 millimeter audio jack on your Pi, it will not work. For some reason, uh, if you have a device connected there, it can either play music or it can play, play audio or it can make the light stands it can't do both for some reason the the audio jack there has trouble with virtual devices and if i do a rec record l um the list of capture devices is nothing so let's reboot you can do sudo reboot uh, if i go into the files here in the music directory uh they're here so i'm just gonna do a quick test of uh let's do jingle bells it'll open up vlc Okay, so that works. So you can play this from here or from the CLI. So I'm gonna turn the lights on. Okay, so I just placed the uh, the speaker right next to the lights. Uh, they don't really need to be there. One of the beautiful things about this is that I can have the lights somewhere else and the speaker somewhere else. Um, and, and they work uh, exactly as planned. So I'm going to, uh, before I do this, I'm gonna show you the devices. If I do A play L. You'll see there's more devices, right? So there's two loopback devices. So these are the virtual devices and a record L. Uh, you can see there's a couple of capture devices. So these are the virtual microphones, uh, if you will, which is gets picked up by uh, a, uh, by Pi Audio uh, within the script. Uh, in the script, I also have this script called music.py. So if we do nano music, uh, py uh, it uses pied up to play music in the directory home pi music that's why i use the lowercase m uh, even though i could have changed this pretty easily uh, and it plays them in order if you want to use a uh, if you want to use a, a, a python script instead of using vlc uh, which was probably going to be helpful later on when i try to make this all headless try to make sure see if i can not use the gui so let's go we'll clear this and then let's run the script so the sudo python3 visualization scrolls so i'll do scroll so uh before i forget uh i added a couple of more visualizations they're scrolls uh, uh as i was trying them out as i'm trying to get more comfortable with uh numpy so the two other other values are scroll quad which is it splits the the uh the led strip into four and splits out from two centers instead of four centers and kind of meets at the center center and then a scroll in which it starts from the outside and scrolls in so i'll show you both of these the energy spectrum and regular scroll are also still there i do want to add more here as well as trying to see if i can get you to customize the colors you want to show uh, but that's in the future so let's go here so i'll do let's do scroll in for now so i press start um previously if i spoke if there was a microphone it would light up but as you can see in the corner it there is no light so it just says uh 
no audio input volume below threshold. So if I go into my music folder, so instead of using Python, I'm just gonna play this using VLC. There you go, you can see the lights come on and there's an FPS. So because I'm using the GUI uh, and I'm not using external power source, the FPS isn't a steady 50 that I usually get, it's 30, but as long as I think it's over like 25, it's it looks pretty smooth. Stop this and I'm gonna just scroll quad. Just for fun, let's play. Chained the uh, the other LED strip in my Tupperware. Let's see how that does. So it's not bad, it was powering 284 LEDs directly from the Pi using three amps of power. Uh, although I was getting about 20, 25 FPS, uh, it was still pretty smooth. So I think if I include some uh, external power, it would be much, much better. So uh, anyways, if you have any questions about this project, let me know. And before I forget, uh, I'll show you the other script. So I'm gonna go into Fancy Pi. And Python 3 and uh, music.py. Ah, had to cancel, I had to turn my camera back on, so let's do music.py. Let's let it run. All of these are just warnings, you can ignore them. And what this script will do is it'll go through all four and then stop. Anyways, happy holidays everybody.